Hey everyone, here we are at Anderson Pens. I've got Steph with me here today. We just did a video, but we're doing a different one because the last one we did was your top three under 25. And I've moved up in the world. You're doing top three under 50 with the caveat. Mm -hmm. It's really from 25 to 50. Yeah, I, I, I looked for that loophole right away. Now, uh, what I don't know if you know it, but I just did my top three under 50. Did you? Yes. and uh, I did not even know. Is it a competition? I, I didn't think so, but that means that I already know what your choices are. Oh, the correct ones. The, well, I know what mine are, but yours aren't exactly mine. I've, I've made a little change, but I do... How do you know? I do feel like I know you, mm -hmm. and I've got your choices. Um, so three pens, under 50, above 25, in any particular order, what have you got? All right. In any particular order, let's see. I won't even look. I won't even look. We won't know. Our first option. Oh, I already know. One that I actually agonized about because both the Lamy All Star and the Lamy Safari are within the $25 to $50 price range, and they both qualify for being some of my favorite pens of all time. I think they're especially wonderful for beginners. They have this triangle grip, which I still love because otherwise I'll be writing for a long time and I'll slow hand wants to just like twist and then suddenly I'm writing on the side of the nib. Triangle grips prevent that. Although if, if you have a funny grip and you like it that way, then that's, that's a different story entirely. But anyways, I digress. Both the Safari and the All-Star have the ability to swap these nibs out, which makes them really, really good for your first fountain pen. So when you start out thinking, I'm definitely a fine nib sort of person, and you're like, oh, but maybe I could try a broad or a stub or something really crazy. Well, now you can. Now you can. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost like you've seen my video. Oh. <laughs> did we say the same exact no, thing? No, no, you added some extra, mm -hmm. extra stuff to it. But I did go on and on about how much I like. Okay, usually I say I get your, I get your I, I, this is what's on my list. It was not on my list. I thought you were going to go for the Safari. Oh. I went for the All-Star. Wow. Well, um, I, I, I went back and forth so much. I, but I could what have... I did mm -hmm. on the video was go on and on about how much I like the Safari. Even though I didn't ch ah. didn't choose it mm -hmm. because top three I like this one maybe about ten dollars mm -hmm. more than the Safari. Yeah. I went I went with this one because I actually do own a, a Lamy All Star and it was one of my very first fountain pens. We, and they're very nice pens. Yeah. I didn't yeah. mention in my video the 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 shape of the section that keeps the nib where it needs mm -hmm. to be. Well, maybe. Maybe you write like a normal person. I I I think uh, I, most I, of the time I stray. I think I do, but some pens do tend to. I'm going to blame the pens. Some pens do tend to kind of twist a little bit on me. Yeah, yeah. These I, don't. Yeah. And the fact that you can swap the nibs is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really I think the the deal maker for me here too. And and the Safari is just as good. I I think they're even really just as light. This one might be a little bit more durable, but what are you doing to your pens that you need them to be durable? Uh, really, it's just a matter of taste, I think. You know? Yeah, I mean, uh, these are a little bit more expensive than the Safaris, and I did say that if if I'm going to gift a, a fountain pen to a person who's not a fountain pen person, but I think they might become a fountain pen, fountain yes. pen person, it would be a Safari. Mm -hmm. uh, if I don't think they're going to become a fountain pen person, it's the Varsity. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. All I right. am zero for zero for the first time ever oh, in the for... history of these top things. <laughs> Thanks, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> but we we picked the same one, so you know, yeah, really, we, I think we I, both I, win. As, maybe that's why I didn't pick it because uh, I didn't want you. To, not that I, I think, you know, I think I got the other two right. We'll find out. We'll find out. All right, behind door number two, we have the Twisby Eco. Yeah. I knew such, that about you. Such a it. cute little pen. And a I piston like, filler. Yes. I, when they're all full of ink, that's really when they're they're at their coolest, I think. They're the lava, lava lampy. Mm -hmm. Lava lampy. And they're workhorses. Yeah. They're, and yeah, you, you fill them up and you can write for days. I don't think or I weeks, have ever months. used up a full fill on a Twisby Eco. And they I, come in lots of nice colors. I happen to like this one. I think he calls it, I think it's called blue. Blue? But it's a translucent blue. It's mm -hmm. kind of pretty. Yeah. I was, I was wondering the same. I, I've, I've liked a lot of the new ones that they've come out with lately. This is a really cool one. The jade is a really cool one. They're just, they're, they're fun. They're yeah, fun they do little a nice dudes. Job. And that one actually was on my list for you. Ah, excellent. So I'm one for two. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the piston filler at, at under $50 is just, I can't not. 
Last but not least, one that I have just recently discovered, the Kaveco Sport. Yeah. They're so fun. I knew They're that so about sporty. You. I knew you'd pick that one. And that yeah. was that was also one mm-hmm. that I picked. They're they're I like that they are nice and secure. They're pocket sized. Even for me, even with girl pockets, they're still pocket sized. And then you post it and boom. Perfectly reasonable sized pen. Right. Now do you have to post it? I I'm sure it's more comfortable posted, but oh, yeah, do you necessarily I, have to? So I, I So it falls through your hand there. Yeah, yeah, it would fall through my hand. My hands are just a little too big to get away with that. But You just bought one of these. I did. Oh, you bought oh you have it with you? I did, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh what the, that was the iridescent I, pearl? Yes, I could right. not I could not resist that That's right. color. You, you, it's just so pretty. You were going on and on about it before we even got it. Yeah, I saw the pictures. You tonight. signed up to, to buy it before mm-hmm. it arrived. I, I audibly gasped when I saw the pictures for the <laughs> and, first and, time. I and needed does it. Does it still please you? Yes, it does. It is gorgeous. No, we're supposed it to get is. more of these. Oh, good. Good. Because yeah. otherwise I would feel like a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're <laughs> uh, going to be available for a limited time, but they're not supposed to be one and done. So yes. we're supposed to be getting more of those, and they are very pretty. If you are on the fence about whether you're going to like this color in person, you're going to like it in person. I'm gonna like Do it. it. Although I have some sort of green here. The uh, yeah, I, I really like that. Special edition olive green. Mm-hmm. This is a very nice color. Yeah, I have so many outfits that would look so good with that pen. <laughs> Plus, they fit in your pockets, even your little girl pockets. Yes, as you said. Yes. Well, it's. I, you know. So, of these three, do you have a favorite? Um. If I forced you to choose, I did just buy the Kaveco. <laughs> okay. It's the Kaveco. Yeah, I think. Um, I, I said Safari instead of the All Star, mm-hmm. and I knew you were going to do the Echo because I did the Mini. Oh yeah, and you just can't and, and say no to those lampy for pens. Not doing the Echo. But, chastised? Yeah, by Mr. Anderson. Oh, no, he didn't chastise, but he thought he was. He thought I was going to choose the Echo. Uh, and I thought, oh, probably Steph is going to have to have and these. Have... These can, they have to be on everybody's list. Yeah, of, yeah. Of under fifty dollars. Plus, this is my newest pan, which means yeah. I'm obsessed with it. And, and yeah. Sure. You went crazy for that, and you never I, do that for it's new pens. It's true. It's true. I, I try to be so good and control myself. Well, you have but to because you see every pen. Yes. So you have to make wise decisions. But this one, before we even had it, you called Brian and said, you saved me one of those. Yes. Or else. I was scared. I was scared I was going to miss out. I was going to blink, and they'd be all sold out, and then I would have to cry, and nobody wants that. I can't disagree with your choices because they are exa- identical to mine except for the Echo. Mm-hmm. And the Echo is a very nice pen, but I liked the Mini. Because, Understandable. I, I because forgot I that the, the Mini, mini. Is, in th- is within that price range. That's a tough it's call. It's at 50. So it really oh. is a top five, top three under 50. I don't know. Oh. It's right at 50. Look at you no pushing the rules. No one called me out on that. I would have. And uh, so that, those are my choices. But you made excellent choices. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know where we're going to go from here for what your next choices will be. Mm-hmm. Under 100 maybe. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I'll start thinking about it. You start thinking. That's five, though. That means I need another new pen. <laughs> At least one. Oh. Say goodbye.